From a tragic suicide, stone pelting attack and the launch of Mayam Whistle, we bring you all the buzz that's happening on Southern Circuit with me, Roshni Jacob. We start with Tamil Nadu where the much-awaited community-driven app by Kamal Hassan was launched today. Shamik reports. Yes, Roshni, after much hype on Kamal Hassan's app for the citizens, Mayam Whistle was launched today in Chennai at the actor-turned-politician's party office. The app allows users to report on citizen issues, which will be verified and then brought to the government's notice. The launch comes after a long wait since, uh, since November, when the actor had first announced about the release of the app. Thank you, Shamik. Moving on to Kerala, where the tourists from the state who are at Jammu face a brutal stone pelting attack. Sumi brings us the details. That's right, Roshni. Kerala tourists who were travelling in tempos yesterday in Anantnag district of Kashmir were attacked with stones. 47 people were travelling in four tempos at the time of the incident. Seven people were injured and taken to the hospital. As per reports, there was a festival at the local mosque and a large crowd had assembled for the same. When people noticed the vehicle with a Jammu Kashmir registration, they started pelting stones on the vehicles which had the Kerala tourists. Thank you, Sumi. Let's now take a look at Hyderabad, where a student takes a fatal step of committing suicide after facing alleged harassment from his college in Kerala. Shomik joins us once again to give us the latest. A student from Hyderabad, identified as Eguri Pranit, was found hanging in his hostel room. Eguri was pursuing his third year in aerospace engineering at Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology in Thiruvananthapuram, Kerala. On Friday, he was allegedly caught using a mobile phone during his semester exam by the invigilator. He was then taken to the administration block where the registrar allegedly pressurized him into writing a letter on why he had indulged in the malpractice, according to a student, which is believed to be the reason behind the student taking this fatal step. Thank you, Shomik. Winding up with Karnataka, where Prime Minister Modi's speech today ignites another war of words with Karnataka CM Siddharamaya. Suman brings us the ground report. Good evening, Roshni. Taking a dig at Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaya during the election campaign in Karnataka, PM Modi said that Sidramaya is a master of 2 plus 1 formula in Karnataka. He was referring to Sidramaya contesting from two constituencies, Chamundeshwari and Badami, and making his son contest from Varuna constituency. But reacting to the same, Sidramaya reminded PM Modi that even he too had contested from two constituencies, Vadodara and Varanasi, in 2014 Lok Sabha elections. Sidramaya even said that the man with 56 inches chest will have a clever explanation for contesting from two constituencies and said 2 plus 1 is Modi's formula for corruption which includes two reddies and one yeddi. Thank you Suman. And with that we wrap up Southern Circuit today but do stay tuned as we bring you all that's trending from the South. Take care.